Are you a mod? Or maybe you're thinking about getting a mod. Maybe you even want to be a mod. I'm going to give you five tips to hopefully help you get there. What's up? My name's Billy. Welcome to the channel. Here we create kind of communities um, through loads of tips and tricks, attitudes and behaviors. And it just hopefully carves your community into a much more kinder and hype environment. Whether it be on Twitch, Mixer, Discord, Facebook Gaming, whatever. You can implement this stuff right now to help better your communities. Like I said, you might be either wanting to better yourself as a mod. You might want to be a mod and you want to start doing these things to hopefully get you noticed or give you a bit of oomph to what you're doing or you might be a streamer and you want a mod and you want to go oh i'm going to get a mod and i'm going to want them to be the best they can how can i do that and these are five great tips for that i'm even going to give you a bonus point in the end but let's start with number one lead by example everywhere i don't just mean in the channel that you're a mod of i mean every channel that you go into because if you're an ass over here and someone from here comes over to your lovely modder channel, they still see you as an ass. Don't be an ass. <laughs> so be respectful, be positive and be mindful of people. Point two is chat engagement. OK, you're a part of it. You're in there. You want to create conversation, not always with the streamer. It might just be with who who's in the chat if someone comes in and they've not been here before or it's a regular that comes in then be welcoming it, it's polite to say hello don't be a robot about it being a robot and spamming hello in the same two emotes to the 60 people that might turn in or to the 10 people that might it is not useful personalize your greeting to make that person feel welcome into the community start asking questions what have they been up to? Make the conversations and the interaction of the Twitch chat be much longer than what they would be if you weren't there. P -p 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 point three. And you're going to have to use this in a different way. So let me tell you what the point is first, and then I'll expand. It's to help yourself develop and learn new things. So if you're a streamer and you're looking for a mod and you're going to give them the permissions you could give give them content right to help them get a better understanding of how to better themselves as a mod maybe there's a useful video somewhere jokes aside right you are giving them the information and there's no harm in you giving them some feedback don't be rude about it but you could give a new mod some feedback if you wanted to if you are already a mod, don't be afraid to ask for feedback from a streamer or maybe another mod. Maybe you could share some good behaviors between you. And if you're wanting to be a mod, then you're already learning these good attitudes and behaviors that you can do. You can the commands and everything that you can learn from the streamer or other mods is fine. But being the best mod you can, you're doing that by watching this video. And the same if you're already a mod, you're almost there. Point four, we start getting serious now. Deal with conflict, okay? I think what's important to remember is take time to evaluate something first. If someone says a word that they shouldn't say and it's smack bang in front of you, get rid of it. Get rid of it, right? If they're, that's just a, a quick turnaround. If someone is maybe not acting in the best way they can they're a, they're causing a little bit of aggro they might be starting to get on the spoiler side kill them with kindness okay kill them with kind be polite don't just go in the chat back and go hey tony you're up the game don't the game don't do it just Kill them with kindness. Hey, Tony. X streamer hasn't played this before. 
and they're really looking forward to the storyline let's keep it quiet so no one knows what's going on it will be a surprise switch it over kill them with kindness and don't just come in with a big hammer and just swing that was more like a baseball bat but if it was a really big hammer that's what you'd do don't do it hesitate evaluate or ask other mods or even the streamer whisper whisper if you can point five and this this is like really going the extra mile okay because it's get to know your community and it's not as simple as it sounds when i say get to know your community as a mod that doesn't mean just get to know who comes in it means having an external factor to it if i don't know lily lily's streaming and foss is my mod then foss should go check out lily check out lily stream and i know he already does that it's just an example he goes into some of my community streams and sees what's going on that is one of the best things that you could do to go an extra mile because you're taking this central hub this central community that is a brilliant environment and then sharing them good practices over in someone else's environment so you are spending time getting to know your viewers not just in this chat but personally that just takes your modding to a new level of tailoring okay it's it's about taking that great attitudes and behaviors right and turning it up a notch and the bonus point is this is not a job being a mod is not a job unless you're being paid for it i don't know if any, does anyone get paid to be a mod that'd be interesting but it's not a job if you're a streamer and you're watching this video because you want a mod or you want to pass this information on i want you to think of this they're not some workhorse that you have that just go out everywhere and promoting for you they're spending their time because they enjoy being in this community so the least you can do is celebrate some of the success and be thankful i am thankful to all of my guys and girls hugo lisa dale ben jacob foss i'm thankful for all of you helping me on all the different things that i do and i've mentioned that before to all of my community but be thankful to that mod and if you are a mod or you wanted to be a mod just remember like i said it's not a job okay don't burn yourself out if you're feeling overwhelmed by it then you can opt out you can drop out of that uh, and say look I, it, it's taken up too much time i just wanted to let you know i, I can't i'm not going to be coming in this often because i've got x y and z to do it's fine it's a it's a role that can be given back you're not don't feel trapped into it they were the five tips and the bonus point i want to thank you for watching the video this is what it's all about creating kind of communities and a different thought pr process right um please like the video subscribe if you if you haven't subscribed already and you want to better yourself even further then hit that subscribe button share it if you can and check out all my links come out and check out my twitch my twitter whatever you i want to see what you're doing what's your community about Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.